So I have not had any patients who have had any side effects from BPC-157 or thymosin beta-4. I have spoken with uh, a few people who have, they've suffered from fluoroquinolone toxicity, which is uh, tendon, ligament, and mitochondrial injuries after taking a medication like ciprofloxacin or levofloxacin, a, a type of antibiotic. And they have reported that after long-term use, so maybe it's usually over four to six weeks, which is not really that long-term, but after four to six weeks, they notice a crash in their mental state, in their fatigue levels, in their muscular strength, things like that. And I've heard of similar things occurring. Now, uh, most of those, um, those people have used peptides that they've just purchased online and the injectable peptides that they've purchased online. So the first thing is, um, are, were there contaminants? Was this uh, an impure product? Like was, was there, there's so many questions around that because it's not coming from a compounding pharmacy that uh, it, it makes it difficult to know, is this actually from BPC-157 or is this something else? Now, I, there was one patient uh, or potential patient that I spoke with last week who was taking the oral TaylorMade Health BPC-157. He had fluoroquinolone toxicity and he noticed the same thing. Now, in someone like that, then what we start to think of was, are, was the BPC-157 pushing different biochemical healing pathways that if not properly supported could result in a deficiency somewhere else that results in what we quote unquote would call a crash. We do see that happen if, for example, we give too much glutathione or too much NAD without the supporting vitamins and cofactors that are going to be used in the utilization and recycling of those two things, the glutathione and the NAD. So it is not outside the realm of possibilities that in some patients, that we might start them on a peptide like this or they might start themselves on a peptide and they don't have the other support there for their mitochondrial health, their tendon ligament health, their gut health, and that could cause side problems. But generally in the healthy, more healthy patient population where we're not dealing with a systemic condition like fluoroquinolone toxicity, then uh, we have not seen any side effects.